MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the Atlanta Braves and the San Francisco Giants. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Johnny Cueto, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, Johnny Cueto is an interesting guy, man. Has a funky delivery. We call it the shimmy or the shake. He turns his back kind of Louis Tion style, throws from a lot of different arm angles, but his stuff is good. 93 to 96 miles an hour, good changeup, and a good hard slider. The key with Johnny Cueto, keeping his pitch count down early on in the game. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. He will lead this one off today. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. First pick, 1 o'clock. The windup and the 0-1. 1 and 1. is put in play to the right side of the infield. Going to be a tough play. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. That is second. The second baseman, Augie Aldi. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the exciting Ozzie Albies. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. Albies just rakes left handed pitching. There's no real way to dispute that. However, he's not nearly as proficient when facing pitching from the right side. Albies with a one and one count now. Shaping up to be a pretty nice day for baseball. 69 degrees here at first pitch. The one one home is taken for strike two. One ball, two so let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. Well, d -Row, you better be ready to swing. With Matt Ross behind the dish, big zone. Yeah, you know coming into this one, you better pull the trigger. If something's close, Matt Ross is going to punch your ticket. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. One out, nobody on. That misses, so the count goes full now to the second batter of the ball game. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. 3-2 pitch. Locks him up for strike three. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss that when you throw that pitch in a two-strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking right for it. So it's a backwards K for him. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Rounded back up the middle. And a low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. Man, errors are never welcome. But to make one with two outs in the first is especially painful. Now your pitcher has to make extra throws, and that could make the difference in how long he lasts in this game. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring up the big RBI bat of Marcelo Zuna. As a look, now the pitch. Freeman is off of first with two away. 
Swing and a miss on the slider. He's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Hey, down 0-2. He better be leery of this guy's nasty changeup. He has the ability to bury it down and away or down and in wherever he wants to. So you got to be on point with this one. A bouncer up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two strikes against the batter. He's going to have to put that in the memory bank because that guy made a nice two-strike approach right there, made a nice two-strike adjustment. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno, fouled off. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. He set the 0-1. One ball, one strike. Two down, runners at first and second. And that's taken for a cold strike two. I'm absolutely shocked he took that pitch right there. Right in the wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you've got to let go on. One and two. Here it is. Heading out towards shallow right. Back goes Yastrzemski. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the run will score as the Braves strike first. Deleted one nothing. Dan, as a former infielder, I apologize for him. Nothing's more frustrating or upset you more as a defender than making an error and seeing that guy come around and score. It, it, you know what? And that's one of those cases as a pitcher, d -Row. There's not much you can do. Listen, there are physical and there are mental errors, and you just have to, as a pitcher, go ahead and look past that now and try to pick up your teammate and try to get it out any way you can. Ender and Ciarte will be the next to bat. No balls in one strike. Two men are on with two men out. Swing and a miss. That one tied him up. So he goes back to back with the same pitch and got him to chase it both times. He's clearly not picking up that pitch very well. So he was confident doubling up. Does he triple up on it? It's always tough to go back to back. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Braves get a couple of hits here in plate one. On now to the bottom of inning number one. The Braves on top, one to nothing. Mike Soroka gets the ball for Atlanta in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. Coming to the plate now, Brandon Crawford. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Lead half of the first. The shortstop, Brandon Crawford. And the pitch. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. The 1-0. -oh. Fouled away. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Two balls and two strikes to Crawford. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is Inciarte, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Now that's the way you answer. They're down one nothing already, but he laces a double and puts himself in the scoring position. That'll get the dugout fired up and excited to punch back.
in is the third baseman Evan Longoria. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. The 0-1 on its way. On a line, that's a base hit. Crawford rounds third and is digging for the plate. The tag, and he's safe. We're all square at one apiece. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second run go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Belt, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. set with the 0-1. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. He's, he's set. Going, he's Here going. comes the 1-1. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. A runner at first with no outs here. Line towards center field. In there, a base hit. Wow, you rarely see this guy give up more than a hit an inning, and he's already given up three here. It's too early to be concerned, but you do have to keep an eye on him moving forward. He's a pro, though, so he's capable of turning things around in a hurry. So in now for San Francisco, Buster Posey. And a great chance here for the Giants to add on in just the first inning. a look now the pitch and a double steal try here over to Albies on to first and Posey has bounced into a double play that is good the right field Mike now with the plate Mike Yastrzemski he'll get to take his first cuts here set and the pitch here's a strike with the breaking ball very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that that's a pitch right there he'd like to have back he'd love to swing at that one again the 0 1 offering well you could see he's coming right at this guy just pounding the ball in the strike zone he certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. 0-2. Oh Here it is. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Two outs here with a runner at third. Tried to work it back to that low inside corner, but it misses one and two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Yeah, when you're almost hitting guys, that's a sign that you're a little bit too jumpy out there to start the game. So that's a good move by the guy behind the plate to just come out and talk to him and encourage him and settle him down a little bit. The 2-2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Just missed with the 2-2 count, and it runs full now. You can certainly tell at-bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed 
and execute your plan. And he missed with it there, ball four. It's a two-out walk with the runner still at third. Wow, he's looking awfully shaky to start this game, guys. That's three hits and a walk, and there's no doubt that he's fighting himself right now. See if he can get this train back on the rails here. So it's first and third with two away, and into bat next, it'll be Alex Dickerson. As a look, now the pitch. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Runners on first and third, two away. One and two now as that one's fouled off. He struck him out. In and out of trouble as the inning is over. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. The next to bat for Atlanta, Johan Camargo. He'll lead it off against Johnny Cueto. Johan Camargo. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lays off 1 and 0. May have gotten a piece of that one, but no matter, it's 1 and 1. The pitch. Line drive to center field. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. Career head-to-head -head meetings with Johnny Cueto. He's just one for six. First pitch coming. Here it is. And this is taken outside for ball one. Two and oh, the count to Dansby Swanson. Not a great spot to be in right here, two and oh, but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom of the order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. Down low, and the plot thickens here, three and oh. Well, he knows it. But this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. The 3-0 pitch. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3-0 and turned at the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. Bases are empty, one man out. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Back goes Yastrzemski. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Got it, got it. The pitcher, number 40, Mike Garoka. So bases are empty here with two gone, and Mike Soroka will bat next. First pitch on its way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, 1 and 2. 
That's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away, and when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. And it's two balls and two strikes now. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Off speed pitch, just missed inside. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and the next thing you know, this count stands at 3 and 2. And he misses here, ball four, and somehow he manages to walk his opposite number. Wow. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting coach, you say, that's a great A-B. Down 0-2 and you work the walk. But if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook. And that can really frustrate you. Acuna digs in now. 0-for-1 here in the early going. First offering on its way. Swing and a miss on a ball inside. 0-1. Here's a bouncing ball headed for Crawford at short. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for Atlanta. We'll go to the bottom of the second, tied at one. Stepping into the box, Mauricio Dubon. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Mauricio. Now here it comes. Dubon. Swing and a miss oh, that time. It's 0-1. Soroka has become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games. The kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends to eat up innings all by himself. Matt, every team is looking for a guy like this in a day and age where we're going to the Whoa, bullpens yeah. more early and more often. You need at least one or two guys into the rotation that have the chance to get you into the seventh or eighth inning, and he's definitely one of those guys. 1-1. One, one. Hit on the ground out to short. Swanson scoops it up. And a rather easy first out. Batting it. The center fielder. Billy Hamilton. Digging in, Billy Hamilton. First pitch coming, here it is. And he gets ahead 0-1. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. To two. So two balls and two strikes now. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. That's a good pitch right there. But, you know, as a base stealer, when you're in a box like that, you want to protect your money makers, right? You don't want anything around your knees or your feet. So he was fortunate to get out of the way of that one. Got him. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Johnny Cueto. First pitch on its way. Bases are empty here with two men out. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. A ball and two strikes to the Giants pitcher. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Giants down in order. 
We played two full innings and we are tied one to one. So up steps Ozzie Albies. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike 3 in his first plate appearance. Yeah, and they froze him on a good change up. Tough one. If you got good arm action, and this pitcher certainly does have good arm action out there, tough to decipher between the fastball and change up. He's got to be willing to stay back and take the ball the other way. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Yastrzemski's got it and there's one gone. The first baseman, number five, Freddie. Stepping in for the Braves, Freddie Freeman. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this is low, ball one. One out, nobody on. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Pitching isn't always about getting everyone out. Sometimes it's about being smart and knowing when to pick your battles. He's been really careful with this hitter so far, and rightfully so. The 2-0 on the way. Aye. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Ball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Marcelo Zuna will be next. Bases are empty, one man out. This is to right field and deep off the bat of Freeman. Back goes Yastrzemski, and that one is gone. A solo home run off the bat of Freddie Freeman. And now it's 2-1 to one in favor of Atlanta. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. That'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Ball one, no strike. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. and Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Third foul ball in a row, and this is turning into a pretty good at bat. Third, Longoria. And there's out number two. Now that Pet Travis Darno. Standing in, Travis Darno looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Here's the pitch. A ball and no strikes. Two out, nobody on. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout, knowing you have this guy way off balance. 
Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Braves get a run on the Freeman home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 2-1 to one Atlanta. Next to bat for the Giants, Brandon Crawford. Second shot now. He doubled to start out the home first. Not an easy thing to do when you're in a leadoff spot, but that was a good piece of hitting in his first at bat. An opposite field base. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center. And the Giants have come back to knock this one up at two apiece. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs, so I'm sure that'll be a wake-up call, and he'll start throwing some better pitches. So now to the plate, Evan Longoria. Swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. A base hit in his first trip. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best the ones forget thing. about them as soon as the next guy digs right into the batter's box. He no. showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Into the box, Brandon Belt. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses, it's ball one. One for one after a single this first time up. The 1 0. Hit on the ground toward the left. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. The Nevertheless, there are two away now. Buster. Here's Buster Posey now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at-bat. Down the left field line and deep. And that's going to land foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. To third. Camargo brings it in. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. One for the Giants on this swing by Brandon Crawford. We played three full, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. And welcome back to San Francisco as we send it down to Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Here's Ender in Ciarte. He'll step in trying to do something about this 2-2 tie. Ender in Ciarte. First offering on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. 
There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Popped him up. Crawford over to his left. One down. Up next for Atlanta, the third baseman, Johan Camargo. Into the box now, Johan Camargo. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. On the ground to the left side. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. Pro will not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one-out base runner. Well, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Popped up. Belt able to pull this one in for route number two. The pitcher, number 40, Mike Soroka. Two gone now in the Braves' half of the fourth, and Mike Soroka will bat next. First pitch on its way. Hits are now even at four apiece. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. No problem over there for the baby giraffe belt. And that ends the inning. Brave strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth, all even at two apiece. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Giants lineup with their manager, Gabe Kapler. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Digging in, Mike Yastrzemski reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Mike Yastrzemski. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Yastrzemski was just shy of six feet at 5'11", a left-handed batter and thrower. He was taken in the 14th round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. 
Now back, left fielder, Allen. Dickerson. And that'll bring up the big bat of Alex Dickerson. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Two runs, four hits, and one error in the ball game for San Francisco. Nope. One and one. Oh. One and one. Down low, two balls and a strike. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Now the 2 1. Hey! Right side hit hard. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one out single. The battle, number one, second baseman, Mauricio Duval. Into the box now, Mauricio Dubon. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The better fielder, number double zero. Billy Hamilton. Billy Hamilton digging in now as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Swing and a miss, strike one. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. First and second now, one man out. And this one gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Man, that is such a wasted opportunity. Two on, one out. Perfect situation to induce a grounder and get out of the inning. But instead he's wild and both runners advance, taking the double play situation away. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And the flip will get him at first, and oh boy, a missed opportunity there as both runners are forced to hold, and there are two away now. The pitcher. So two away for the Giants here in the fourth. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Johnny Cueto. Here's the first pitch to him. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. And Ciarte's there. He's got it. And that'll get him out of the jam. Giants leave a couple. We'll head to the fifth. Tied at two. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Ronald Acuna, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. Swing and a liner. Foul. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he got him. That's not an impact he's going to look back on and be happy about. Obviously, the strikeout result isn't good, but to go down on three pitches and none of which were even in the strike zone, as you see there, that's not a good look.
And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The wind up and the 0 1. Good change up and it's 0 and 2. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Wow, talk about being efficient. How about Out six back. pitches, the two strikeouts? Three. Doesn't get Ready. much better than that. Three. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. A hit and two tries for him so far. The 1-0. Left side. Up with it is Longoria. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. Down in order go the Braves. Halfway home. Tied to a piece. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting shortstop and San Francisco Bay Area native Brandon Crawford. For the last at bat, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. One and oh, the count. Now here's the pitch. Two and oh now. Two balls, no strike. Three and oh now. There you see Evan Longoria waiting next. A 3 0. -oh. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Show some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Striding into the box, Evan Longoria. He's one for two in the ball game. He's set. Here it comes. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Tried to get the arms extended, but he couldn't. One and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. 2-2 Two -two is our score. Leadoff man aboard at first here with nobody out. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Great job right there. Scrambling a nasty breaking ball off the plate. The next one-two pitch. Fly ball heading for the alley. Acuna giving chase, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And the run will score all the way from first. And you know, there's just so few places in the strike zone where you can keep this guy from hitting the ball hard. That really is not that bad of a pitch. Just a little bit down and away, but he's all over it, and he cashes in the run on the double. At the plate now, Brandon Belt. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Here comes the 0 1. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound, and to check swing and not chase that one puts himself right back in the count. No oh offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, that sinker is normally a really important pitch for him. 
but it really hasn't been effective so far. It just looks kind of flat. Now the 2-1 pitch. Ground ball left side. Camargo's got it. Throw to first is in time for the first down. The catcher, number 28, Buster Posey. Now the Giants' number four batter, Buster Posey. No hits to this point. From the stretch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Acuna is there and he'll bring this one in. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. The right fielder, number five. Mike Yastrzemski. Now batting, Mike Yastrzemski. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Three runs, seven hits, and one error in the ball game for San Francisco. And this will be fouled away. And another foul ball. Here's the one two. Hit out towards second. Albies scoops it up. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Giants get a run on the RBI double. Five innings complete. It's now 3 2 San Francisco. Marcelo Zuna, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Marcelo Zuna. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. 2-0 count. The pitch. Nope. That's inside. Got through the fifth all right, but it looks like he's a little off kilter here to start the sixth. Three balls and a strike to the Braves left fielder. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to put a start away. Make him work his tail off, throw a lot of pitches, and get on base any way that you can. A big inning at this point of the game, and he's probably gone. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Ball one. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Three twos our score here in inning number six. Hey. Inside corner, a ball and a strike.
Oh, they'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. Now a ball lined to the left side. Here he comes again, 1-2. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at 2-2. Two and two. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Still two and two. From the stretch. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. Standing in now, Ender Inciarte. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Set up away with the changeup, but it's 1 and 1. Now some action out in the Giants' bullpen as they'll have both the left-hander and the right-hander get loose. From the belt, kicks and deals. And a changeup here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Runners on first with one down. Runners off for second. Weak roller right side. And he'll just step on first here to take the shoe around. Now that third base, Johan Camargo. So striding in, Johan Camargo, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Ready with the 1-0. Oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. set and the 1-1 one, one lifted down the line in left and they can't run it down the set and the 1-2 one, two. Two, two. two out here and a runner at second Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. He'll come home with it. And he will be tagged out at the plate. So it remains a one-run deficit here as the side is retired. Grant Dayton enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now pitching for Atlanta. Number 75. Grant Dayton.
Leading off for the Giants. At the plate, Alex Dickerson. Dickerson. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He's 1 for 2 in this one. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at 1. Now some action in the Braves bullpen as they'll stand up a right hander to get loose. One and one here it comes. Eight, two. One ball two strikes. He'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. There to handle it is Ozuna, and there's one away. The batter, number one, second baseman, Mauricio. Dubon. Digging in and looking for more. Mauricio Dubon. A hit in two tries so far. First delivery to him on the way. Nope, that's down. <laughs> the 1 0. -oh. Ball two. Two balls. Bases are empty, one man out. Outside, three and oh now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. And he won't even have to take the bat off. It's Moorings, a four-pitch walk here. The center fielder, number double zero. So a runner at first now with one away. And in to hit next, the speedy presence of Billy Hamilton. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In there, and it's 0-1. Good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Grounded to short. Swanson picks it up over to Albies. Back to Freeman, not in time, and they'll just get the one. And kids, this is how you always go hard into second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Johnny Cueto. He struck out and flied out, 0 for 2 so far. First offering on its way. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Oh. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Two out with the man at first. well behind that fastball it's a swinging strike hey he's got excellent stuff working right now somebody has to make an adjustment you're seeing a lot of late swings no one's getting a front foot down no one's getting a barrel to the baseball but the runners back easily
Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Giants leave one, but they still lead it three to two. Trevor Gott is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 58, Trevor Gott. Seventh inning ready to roll into the box. Dansby Swanson. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. And he popped him up. Longoria in foul ground. And a diving effort, but it's out of his reach, a foul ball. The 1-1 one, one home. Lays off two and two now. Here's the pitch. The bouncer to the left side. Longoria's there. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. How about it? The pitcher, Grant Stinkin. Nick Markinkis will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 22, Nick Markinkis. And here's a called strike to the 36 year old veteran. It's nothing in one. Very tight ball game. Three to two, our score in inning number seven. Oh, and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Got him swinging in the dirt. Posey gathers it. And he makes the throw to first. Mark Hankins is retired. Two down now. You know, professional catchers make those plays look easy most of the time, but that was a big play that shouldn't go unnoticed. Had he found a way on, he would have represented a tying run, so that was a nice job there to make sure that strikeout didn't get wasted. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Ronald Acuna. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch of the at bat. Low for Whoa. ball one. Pitch sharply, but foul down the right side. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Two out, nobody on. In the dirt, did he go around? Yes, he did. Posey's got it, and the throw to first ends the inning. Braves are set down one, two, three. They trail three to two. Chris Martin gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 55, Chris. Martin. Last half of the seventh here. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Brandon Crawford. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. All ones the count. Oh, 
And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And no one will track it down. Swing and a liner. And there's a base hit, so a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. Dan, with that single, he's now three quarters of the way to hitting for the cycle. Toughest one still on the shelf, though. He's got to get a triple. Yeah, that you said it, Dero. That's one of those that's either got to hit right down the line or one of those tweeners in the gap. He has enough speed, so if he can find a gap or find one down the line, maybe he can do it, and he's going to at least get one more at bat in this one. So now to the plate, Evan Longoria. Strike one to start the at-bat. Nobody out, runner on first. Line hard to the left side, but foul. Fouled off. The 0 2 once more is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Stepping in now, Brandon Belt. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1-0 home is looked at for ball number two. Runner at first here, one man out. Skied into straightaway right. Acuna's there for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Now back. The catcher. Buster. Posey. And that'll bring up Buster Posey. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Hit on the ground toward the left. And Buster's going to make his way aboard. He's got a base hit. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch down the zone now right back. there, below right the knee. Back. Offensive back. player was all over. Right there. To the plate now, Mike Yastrzemski. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. a strike two down runners at first and second and it's one and two I wouldn't be surprised if he uses aggressiveness against him right here if you're going to get a swing outside the zone one one might as well fish a little bit further a ball and two strikes Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Just missed with the 2-2 count, and it runs full now. 
every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Giants leave a couple. They're up three to two. Sam Coonrod has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 55, Sam Coonrod. Now with the plate, Ozzie Albies. He'll have the first crack at it here as we start inning number eight. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. The windup and the 0-1. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And it's off the second archway. And he'll get in at second base as the tying runs aboard with a leadoff double. Wow, when I heard that and saw it leave his bat, I thought we were going to be all tied up. But it just didn't have enough to get out of here. So he's going to have to settle for a double. Tying run on second, and now things are officially getting interesting. Into the box, Freddie Freeman. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. In his career, Freeman has over 200 career home runs, so he's certainly capable of leaving the yard in this big spot here. Oh, yeah, Matty, absolutely. Right man, right time. He's been there, done that, hit a bunch of home runs in his career, and he sets up nice for him. Now that left fielder, Marcel O'Dea. Runner at second, one away, and that'll bring up big-time RBI man Marcelo Zuna. He's set, and the pitch. Here's a slider to start things out, looked at for ball one. And this one's too far inside, ball two. The 2-0 on the way. Hard on the ground towards short. And that's through into left, a base hit. Albies rounds third and is striding for home. He'll come across to score, and the Braves have tied it. We are knotted at three. You know, d Row, in today's game, no, it's not easy scoring in the late innings. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Standing in now, Travis Garneau. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Hit down the third baseline, but this will get foul for strike two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Into the box now. Ender Inciarte. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Ready with the 0-1. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Softly hit to short. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. Adam Duvall will come on now and pinch run here. Johan Camargo. So striding forward now, Johan Camargo in a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. 
first delivery to him on the way. Nope. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Lifted down the line in left. Heading after it is Dickerson. And they can't run it down. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. But gloving it down there at third is Longoria. Quick reactions that time, and the inning is over. Braves get a couple of hits here in plate one. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. And we are all tied at three apiece. Adam Duvall will stay in the ballgame as he takes over in center. Number 23, Adam Duvall. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Darren O'Day will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Danny Echevarria is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. We At the plate, We're Alex done. Dickerson. It was a no fly out good. for him in his last Alex. trip. Dickerson. First pitch coming. Here it is. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Rounded down the third baseline. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. I know he didn't smoke that one from the offensive standpoint, but you know what? A knock's a knock, especially to lead off an inning. Game tied, and it's getting late. That could prove to be pivotal. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. At the plate, Mauricio Dubon. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Now it looks like the Braves are going to get a lefty up and throwing in their bullpen. Go ahead, runs the board here at first with nobody out. Popped him up. Albies is there for it. He's got it one away. The center fielder, number double zero, Billy Hamilton. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. And they don't need anything special from him right here. They need to find a way to just move that runner up 90 feet. Don't be shocked if the sack bunk gets laid down. He's set. Here it comes. One oh. Hey, it's nearly impossible to turn two with a guy that could run like this. It's even harder when he comes out of the box hitting from the left side. You really need something tailor-made to even have a chance to get him at first. Giant center fielder ahead with a 2-0 count. He's running on first goal. Number eight. Head ball. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away.
too high. And it's 3-0. and oh. He's ready. Now the pitch. And he misses with it. Ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. The bat. The pitcher. Wilmer Flores will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 41. Wilmer Flores. and won the count. Counts even at one and one to Wilma Flores. Runners are at first and second with one away. Down the first baseline to second for one. Throw to first is going to be offline, so they just get the one on the play. Great job of hustle there by the base runner. That looked like an easy ending, ending double play. Now runners at first and third with two outs. Austin Slater will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Now running at third for the runner. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. And it looks like this could be a critical at bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at bat to watch. to hang a zero here's the pitch fouled away you're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle cannot be late on that fastball he set the 0 1 pulled toward right center field Acuna coming in and that'll bring in the go ahead run from third it's now a four to three game throw won't get him Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself. Standing in, Evan Longoria. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. First pitch of the at-bat. In there, no balls and a strike. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounding the strike zone. O one offering. Yep, that ball went out. Ball. And that misses two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Got him to go down after that one, and it's two and two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Giants will have to be content with just the one. We've played eight full. 
It's the Giants four and the Braves three. Hunter Pence takes over out in left field after entering the game in a pinch hit roll last half inning. Number eight. Tony Watson takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 56. Tony Watson. set to start the ninth in this one stepping into the box Dansby Swanson he could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far first offering on its way smoke toward the hole a dive and he knocks it down and a good try to recover that time but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning I know it wasn't pretty right there, Dan, but that has to frustrate the pitcher. Lead-off guy, anytime he gets on, usually creates a problem. Hey, you know what, Dero? It's especially tough when you get as late in the game as we are right now. Anytime you get that lead-off guy on and have that pitcher start pitching out of the stretch, it always puts more stress on that pitcher pitching out of the stretch. Adani Echevarria is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Evens it up one and one. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind the ball in two strikes. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Pence coming on. He can't get there as it falls in. The right fielder, number 13, Ronald Acuna Jr. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Stepping in, Ronald Acuna. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amend. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. From the belt, the pitch. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. A ball and a strike now to the Atlanta leadoff man. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. The batter number one. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Ozzie Albies. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. One out with the possible tying and go ahead runs on base here. Look out as that pitch sends him tumbling to the ground. A 1 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two.
Grounded up the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Back to first. It's a double play right when he needed it. And this ball game is over. Hey, we were really treated to a good one today. Bottom of the eighth proved to be the difference, though. And a good job here in the ninth to close the book on this one. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. The San Francisco Giants came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Sam Coonrod is the winning pitcher of record. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.